Hello everyone. Today I'm taking you with me to a couple of famous places in London and we'll see where those places get their names from. Let's get started in Westminster. Very famous name and actually very easily explained. A minster is an abbey or an important church and indeed the place gets its name from the fact that this minster was built to the west of what was then the centre of London, which is now the city uh, of London. So basically an abbey towards the west of uh, the city of London. So actually if we're talking about Westminster Abbey, we're saying the same thing twice because abbey and minster are exactly the same. Next on my list is Piccadilly Circus, well known to everyone who's ever been in London. By extension also the area uh, is called Piccadilly. Now where does that name come from? Well it actually takes its name from a big mansion, Piccadilly Hall, built by someone who made his fortune making and selling so-called Piccadils. A Piccadill is a broad square colour made of lace, starched lace, which became fashionable towards the end of the 16th century. So Piccadilly Circus is named after a fashion item. Everybody's heard of Paddington, if only because they know Paddington Bear. Now Paddington uh, is not named after the bear, it's the other way around. Uh, Paddington can trace its name back to Old English times. Uh, apparently Padda must have been a name of someone and the suffix ton or ton means village. So basically Paddington is just Padda's village. Uh, you may think it's strange to talk about a village within London, but that's only because we know London as it is now, an enormous city. But uh, as I've said before with Westminster, originally London was limited to what is now the city of London, the so-called Square Mile. And Paddington was definitely a village outside London. The last one I want to share with you is Greenwich. Uh, you all can see uh, the way that's written uh, and it can also trace its roots back to Old English times when it was Grene which Grene green which uh, meant something like bay or creek or harbour. Effectively, it was Green Harbour or Green Bay. And even today, you can still see that if you go to uh, Greenwich, uh, it's still a very green area hmm, along the river. So you can imagine uh, in former times, there being a few boats uh, finding a harbour there. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Hope you found it interesting. Bye-bye.